What's going on, Verdi Redemption Podcast listeners, Shattered Movement members in the 30-Day Shattered Life Journal Challenge acceptors, as well as all-around sophobatics. What's up? We're in day, what is today? Day 14? Day 14 is preparing your body. Now, I've been pretty open about this. This is not a health and fitness challenge. There's not really a health and fitness aspect to it, but being our best self does involve fitness and our physical health. So uh, I will talk about it. And really, today's video will be nice, short, and sweet. As a lot of you know, I worked as a personal trainer, as a fitness trainer for a while. Um, I've seen every, you know, food fad from the carnivore diet to the keto diet, and they all are still around. Here's the thing. A lot of people listen to a lot of different diet advice, health and fitness advice, whatnot. Here's what I'll say. Um, choose today, right? We still have a little bit before the journal drops. It is on pre-order now, but day 14 is essentially figuring out what we're going to do going forward with our body. Make a plan. Do some research over the next couple days. If if you've been trying a diet for a while, I've seen some people that are trying the same diet three years and they're not seeing any results. Change it, man. It's time to change it. It's not working. Every diet, great. If a diet works for you, that's fantastic. Tell your friends about it. But if it doesn't work for them, don't keep pushing it on them like, oh, well, you're not doing it right. Or if you just do this, or if you just buy one more product, obviously there's a grace period. You need to give everything some time to kind of get working and stuff. Almost nothing is instant. If it is instant, it doesn't work. My wife and I were just talking about this last night i've known people in the past that take like those insane diet pills and they sweat like a crackhead and you know they're moving all over the place but it's terrible for them preparing your body is also about if you have something physical that you want to right uh for years i watched movies about fighting and stuff like that and as many of you know i actually competed last year in my first amateur kickboxing fight i had to prepare my body for that I know what it is. So if you have big goals, then understand what those goals are and understand what's necessary to do that. I trained for three years for one amateur fight. I mean, it's, I'm not trying to go in there and look stupid or get hurt or anything. Plus, this is something I want to do. Dedicate yourself to it. Learn every single thing you can about it. So that way, when you do show up or whatever size that stage is, you're ready to perform on it. Um, as far as physical activity goes, I'm, I mean, physical fitness, especially as we get older, gets tough, right? It's especially as you creep up into your 30s, your chances of competing physically start to dwindle a lot at 30. You know, your body starts to really break down. I'm not saying you can't. There's definitely, you can compete in certain things, but it's just not the same. Like starting at the age of 18 and making an entire career out of either powerlifting, bodybuilding, football, basketball, whatever. If you're trying to do that at the age of your late 20s and 30s, and you're just trying to pick them up even as a hobby, like martial arts or me, I'm skateboarding again and you know I still hit the bag a little bit I but again fighting causes a lot of injuries and that was not something I was really prepared for I was prepared to fight and take the damage but the biggest cause of my injuries right now is think I didn't stretch I didn't prepare complete that's what I want to encourage you guys to do today Com- uh, prepare completely for this challenge too. Uh, prepare because as you can see it's it's gonna cover a lot of bases but it's gonna be something that at the end you should leave it fe- feeling completely well rounded whole and completely sure of who you are moving forward in life guys you can pick this up the pre-order of the journal at the road the number two redemption podcast.com we got the full line of merch there which i've got on currently love it favorite stuff that i have obviously i'm a little biased check it out for yourself let us know what you think and we will see you on day 15 love you so much